So we are celebrating our five year anniversary, the ups. I hold your heart and I will die before I drop it. The downs, because it just sounds like boring, basic, not complicated, not interesting. And do you think those are words that would describe our love? And I'm also gonna be sharing a video that I made for Shan on our five year anniversary, which I thought was pretty cool. But first, we gotta show some love to the sponsor of this video, Squarespace. Well, 2024 has arrived. And yeah, it's time for a complete restructure. This year, Shan and I are embracing a new direction. Focusing on artistically stunning and engaging content, starting with Shan's website makeover. There's no better partner for this transformation than Squarespace, the proud sponsor of this video. Squarespace isn't just a sponsor for us. It's ideal for us in tailoring our brand and fit our unique needs and our desires. It stands as the ultimate platform for entrepreneurs looking to stand out and succeed online. With Squarespace, creating a captivating website is a breeze, allowing you to connect with your audience and know your audience with in-depth analytics. Plus, you can sell everything from products and content to time. Now, while I can go on and on about Squarespace's impressive capabilities, I'll save that for later in the video. But if you're eager to explore Squarespace right now for yourself, visit squarespace.com slash shambooty for a free trial. No credit card needed. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash shambooty to enjoy 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Enjoy the video. We'll talk soon. It's wild. When I met you, love felt simple. And I always thought love was complicated. It's, it's convoluted, it's hard, it's exhausting, and no one really understands it. And to be honest, I used to doubt that love could even be real if it was simple. And I know, using the word simple to describe a love that has completely changed my life feels like a poor choice of words, right? But the safety, the stillness, the consistency, and ease to our love is the reason why it's oxygen to me. Life is hard. Loving you is easy. Five years in, and loving you is as easy and simple as breathing fresh air. And even though breathing air feels simple and effortless and I do it all day, its impact, it's, it's not simple. It's literally why I'm alive. So when I say loving you is simple, I really mean loving you is why I'm alive. Five years. High five. We did it. Yeah. Thank you for that very special video that you made for our anniversary. Uh, can you walk me through your inspiration for making it? Oh, well, you know, for me, I always, I don't think that I have a way with like writing out stories the way you do, but I do know that I do have taste in visuals. And so for this year, I just really was like, how do I express the feeling that you give me and this relationship gives me that's more than just telling you or more than just a gift. Um, something that I can control. I, to me it was like almost like, uh, this is gonna sound so weird, but like if I was an artist and I could paint mm -hmm. and I was able to be like this painting, this visual, this thing represents the feeling that I feel when I'm with you. Um, and that's really where it came down to. It just was like, how do I do, how do I express more what Shan means to me through a way that's just not just words. It's always tough around birthdays and Christmas and things because it's like, what do you get the person that can really get whatever? Yeah. And the only thing that I always land on is something like that I make, you know? Whether that be something visual, or whether that be something tangible. Um, the, I think the art of doing that, just is, it's just an expression. And I enjoy expressing that way. Um, even if I see other people who do videos that way or do things that way, um, it doesn't even have to be romantic related. It's just like somebody expressing something that I feel that I haven't put into words yet um, is, is awesome to see. So I think it's important. And then you, it's like the person that you're, you're showing this to, maybe they think they know what you feel about them, but now they have something that can make them feel something. Past words. Best friends? Yeah. Do you consider me your best friend? You don't really hear you say that. 
with me. You never like, you're my best friend. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, you're my best friend. Yeah, you're my best friend. Yeah, that's nice. You're so vibrant and daring and fearless. Um, and I just I think it's such, such a turn on to me. I'm excited to get old and, and just angry at the world together. <laughs> <laughs> I've never looked at someone before like that. <laughs> so you had me right here, looking fresh, and then look how they had shit. Oh, it feels like a dream. I would dream of a life like that. Oh. The way is just watching you, the way that you love our children. And... Oh. I did your toes. Where's your toes? Okay, little pause here, but let's just dive into why Squarespace is so impressive to me. First, their appointments feature has been a game changer for us. With our schedules being quite hectic, this feature streamlines our day-to-day -day management beautifully. And speaking of beauty, you've got to check out their Fluid Engine. It makes creativity so easy and it's accessible from your browser or even your phone. And are you thinking of selling products? Squarespace has you covered here too. They assist with everything from product design to production to inventory and shipping. Plus their mailing list management and analytics tools are top notch. And the ease of designing and customizing your website is simply amazing. If any of this sparks your interest, visit squarespace.com slash shambooty to start your free trial. No credit card required. And when you're ready to launch, go back to squarespace.com slash shambooty to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Remember, that's squarespace.com slash shambooty for your free trial and 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Now enjoy the rest of this video. Do you, do, do you have a negative feeling that we didn't get to celebrate it personally, celebrate our five year anniversary? No, because I think that everything is just, I think we have a very realistic love. And some people may not like that and some people may be really relieved to know you can have a very intense and deep and powerful realistic love. Like, I don't think that our love exists in the realm of fantasy um, or the abstract, you know what I mean? Like, it's just not realistic right now for us to take that time mm. to be able to really celebrate the way, the way that we want to. Mm. We haven't gone on a, a date night. Mm. Does that mean that we don't have time together? No, three hours a night, every single day, we have focused time to love on each other and to be with each other. But to do that and leave the house, um, and knowing that the kids are okay, we just don't have that space right now. So I like that about us. I like that we're not resentful of our reality. Yeah. And I think that's a really big accomplishment, especially for parents or for parents who work as often as we do. It's very easy for anybody to become resentful. And I'm so grateful that we can both acknowledge the hard without being resentful for our life or for the fact that we're in this because of the other person. You know what I mean? Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying by that? Uh, yeah, it's like uh, something as simple as us not getting to go out to dinner or celebrate it. It's like the circumstance that we're in is not going to be, the frustration of it's not going to be taken out on the significant other. Yeah. Is that what you were saying? And it's like, yeah, the frustration of that. And then it's like, you know, there, there's just parts of life right now that kind of suck, you know what I mean? And it's so easy to be like, if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have kids. Or if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have all this work responsibility. If it wasn't for you, and if I was by myself, I'd have more freedom, I'd have more time. And if I was by myself, like, it's easy to kind of get into that type of thinking, um, which can damage the partnership. And so instead, it's the difference of, I talked about this in another piece of content that I, I'm making or I wrote about, is that what I treasure so much about what we have is those two hours at the end of every day. Mm. And, it's like, finally, 
I think the big stress I have right now, you know, is maintaining the kids' livelihood. That's gonna go away soon, but I'm really on edge all day yeah. trying to protect them. Yeah. And you talk about that, the buzzing that you get when they go to sleep, where you're like, yeah. my adrenaline can finally go down. I don't yeah. have to be in like constant fight or flight. So at those two hours where whatever work we got to do the day is done, household responsibilities is done to the best of our abilities, kids are in bed, that I can actually look across at you and enjoy this moment of rest together. I don't look over at you and I'm like, you didn't even help today. Mm. They're like, ugh you're the one who got me into this mess. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> it's actually a moment that we can share together of like, damn, that was hard. Yeah. And thank you for making it easier. Yeah. Thank you for not making any more additional stress on me. Thank you for not putting any more pressure on me. Thank you for making the load lighter. It's a heavy load. Thank you for carrying it with me and for showing up every day to do that. Yeah. Like, that's, that to me is our anniversary celebration every single day. Yeah. D d Sounds Disney, <laughs> it's like in a good way. It's a happily ever after. Well, no, I mean, there's <laughs> definitely it's good, days. It's a, good, it's a good thing. You probably feel the same way. There's yeah. definitely days where those two hours come and you're like, I didn't get to do one thing for myself today. And yeah. you feel frustrated. There's definitely days where I'm like, you know, I felt that recently. Mm. Where I'm like, last weekend you were sick, this weekend you went out partying and now you're tired. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Like, so I gotta keep stepping up. And so those two hours come and I'm looking at you like, why are you tired? You know yeah. what I mean? Like, so it's not consistent. I mean, it's 95% of the time, which is amazing to me. Um, so that's the non-Disney part. There's definitely days where in those hours, I, I don't feel those warm feelings. Yeah. But overwhelmingly I do, and I choose to focus on that. Yeah, that's good. On our five year cake, I would, write, I would write on there that if you feel like your love is simple, that means it's probably good. Um, especially if you have a wild life the way we do. Um, it's, a, it's, it's nice to look at you and just think, I can be easy around here. I don't have to be on guard. I don't have to think that she's going to offend me. I don't have to think that I have to be a different person in front of her. It's simple. And that, to me, is the most important thing in a relationship. Uh, I know that there's a lot of people who like your very big emotion relationships, but those are roller coasters to me. And this has been the furthest thing from a roller coaster in a relationship that I've ever experienced. So I cherish the simplicity to the way that we love each other. I love that. I think about this in a one of my ex's moms called me simple once and I was so offended. I was like, what do you mean simple? Because it just sounds like boring, basic, mm. not complicated, not interesting. And do you think those are words that would describe our love? No, not at all. No, no, simple, yes, but not boring or basic or anything like that. Yeah. I, I think that, um, the reason it is simple is because it's complex. Um, there's so much toxicity in our careers that I'm so glad that there's not any toxic in our relationship. So, um, yeah, simple, good. Boring, no. Complex, yes. Are you surprised at all that we made it here? No. No, I, I, I didn't marry you because I thought it was going to end in five years, so, <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, I'm not surprised either. Are any of you surprised? Be honest. Probably. God only knows, I gotta face those kinds of things. Tell me what I know now. What happened? Why you looking at me like it's magic? Used to have me reaching climaxing. Flip you over wet Atlantic, I know.